in an unexpected turn during the court proceedings. The entire courtroom was taken by surprise when a young black girl voiced her hunger. Momentarily pausing the ongoing session, the setting was charged with a palpable tension as Nia, the girl's mother, stood apprehensively before Judge Callista, known for his stringent application of the law. Judge Callista presided over the court from behind his imposing oak desk. His demeanor unyielding, Nia, a struggling single mother, was there to challenge a $200 parking ticket that posed a significant financial burden to her already stretched budget. As she tentatively presented her case, explaining her inability to pay the fine, murmurs from the spectators filled the air, causing distractions that even the judge could not ignore. With a firm strike of his gavel, Judge Callista restored order, demanding complete silence. However, the hushed atmosphere was soon pierced by a small yet clear voice asking for hamburgers. Please, the voice belonged to Maya, Nia's six-year-old daughter, who stood innocently by her side. This unexpected interjection left the courtroom attendees, including Nia, completely astounded, while such an innocent request might have lightened the mood under different circumstances. In the solemn environment of Judge Callista's courtroom, it was both highly unusual and not well received. Nia's face flushed a deep crimson with embarrassment, as Maya's unintended disruption potentially compromised their already delicate position in contesting the fine. Nia gave Maya a frantic look of concern, but the young girl merely stood by, her eyes wide with an innocent curiosity that contrasted sharply with the tension in the room. Unlike the rest of the audience, who seemed on edge, Judge Callista remained composed. He raised an eyebrow in mild surprise but displayed no signs of anger. Realizing the gravity of the moment, Nia quickly knelt beside Maya, whispering urgently that they mustn't disrupt the proceedings. They had originally hoped that Maya's presence might soften the judge's disposition. However, Nia now worried that Maya's outburst could instead reflect poorly on them. Portraying them as careless, Judge Callista then turned his attention to Maya, who was quietly fidgeting next to her mother. In a tone much gentler than expected, he asked, Did you say hamburgers, young lady? The courtroom suddenly shifted focus to Maya, everyone eager to hear her response and see how the judge would handle this unexpected interruption. Nia held her breath, anxious about the potential consequences of her daughter's words. Maya, seemingly oblivious to the stir she had caused, did not reply directly to the judge. Instead, her gaze was fixed on a stern-looking portrait of a man in a judicial wig hanging behind the judge. With Nia's heart pounding, the atmosphere in the courtroom grew tense. Yet, Judge Callista's reaction was not as harsh as anticipated. He simply shifted his gaze from Maya back to Nia. After a moment of heavy silence, which made Nia feel as though she was under intense scrutiny, Judge Callista addressed them again. Is there anything you wish to share with me, young lady? He inquired with a calm demeanor. Before Nia could intervene, Maya stepped forward and politely stated, Yes, sir. She then explained to the judge that she and her mother had missed breakfast in their rush to prepare for court. Her stomach was growling audibly, and the ongoing discussions were only making her hungrier. Nia felt a wave of embarrassment. Here they were discussing serious matters and her daughter was talking about her hunger. Nia realized in hindsight that they should have managed their time better that morning. Considering the hectic preparations, dressing Maya, ensuring she had all she needed, making necessary calls to excuse their absences at work and school, and navigating through rush hour traffic to reach the courthouse. While Maya's honesty might have been charming under different circumstances, Nia feared it could inadvertently undermine their case in front of the judge. Just as Nia was about to apologize for the interruption, Judge Callista gestured for her to hold her words, indicating that he wasn't finished yet, with a casual dismissal. He waved his hand, he informed Maya that indeed, the courtroom could be a rather monotonous and wearying place when one was hungry. Encouraging her to come closer, he invited, why don't you join me here and explain more about these hamburgers? His inquiry caught everyone off guard, including Judge Callista himself, who seemed slightly bewildered by his own question about hamburgers. Maya looked towards her mother, seeking approval, 
and Nia, uncertain of what might unfold, could only nod her assent. With a spring in her step, Maya eagerly approached the judge's imposing desk. Her face lit up with excitement as she climbed the small platform before the judge's bench. Judge Callista reclined in his chair, watching her approach with a mix of astonishment and curiosity. This deviation from the usual courtroom protocol had the entire room holding its breath. Wondering how Judge Callista would react, was he still annoyed by the interruption? Would he chastise Maya for a lack of decorum in the courtroom? No one, especially not Nia, could have predicted the judge's unexpectedly warm response. Nia, a single mother to her vibrant six-year-old daughter Maya, found her life to be a challenging juggle of work, childcare, and maintaining financial stability. Each day demanded a careful balancing act of these critical responsibilities. And this morning had been particularly challenging. Maya had woken up with the telltale signs of a cold, sniffles and coughs signaling the onset of illness. Nia knew she had to administer some medicine before heading to her job at the local bakery. But she also needed to be on time for her shift. In her rush, Nia quickly bundled up Maya in warm clothing, made sure her favorite stuffed animal was packed for comfort, and grabbed a small bag filled with tissues. As they dashed out the door, Nia fervently hoped that the morning traffic would be light. Unfortunately, her hopes were dashed as they hit every red light, turning their usual swift drive to the pharmacy into a prolonged nightmare. Upon their arrival, already behind schedule, Nia's anxiety was palpable. The pharmacy parking lot was bustling, and to her dismay, all the regular parking spots were occupied. She then spotted a vacant spot right by the entrance, clearly marked for wheelchair users. Knowing full well that it wasn't right to use it but pressed for time and with Maya continuously coughing in the backseat. Nia made a regrettable decision. Just a few minutes, she reasoned, hoping that it would not cause any inconvenience. I'll only be a few minutes, Nia reassured herself as she slid her car into the reserved parking space. Optimistically thinking she could dash in and out quickly since the area didn't seem busy. However, what she anticipated would be a quick stop at the pharmacy spiraled into a much longer ordeal. The line crawled as each customer ahead of her seemed to encounter issues that delayed the process. After 15 agonizing minutes, Nia finally got her hands on the needed medicine and hurried back to her car. A pang of guilt nagging at her for using a parking spot designated for wheelchair users. As she approached her vehicle, her heart sank when she spotted a bright orange envelope peeking from under her windshield wiper. The envelope contained a $200 parking fine, a significant blow to Nia's already stretched financial situation. This amount was more than half her weekly budget allocated for groceries. Troubled, she sat in her car, recalculating her expenses. She considered every possible cutback, including foregoing her daily coffee and minimizing her car's fuel consumption. Despite her efforts, the $200 shortfall loomed large, presenting a distressing financial dilemma. Confronted with the possibility of not being able to cover her rent or other essential bills, Nia contemplated challenging the fine in court. Despite her anxiety about the legal system and the intimidating presence of judges, the thought of navigating through the complex judicial procedures was daunting, but the financial strain offered no other options. Resolving to plead her case, she hoped for a judge's understanding and leniency. In the days leading up to her court appearance, Nia devoted herself to understanding parking regulations thoroughly and crafting her defense. As the court date approached, her anxiety intensified, stepping into the imposing courthouse. With its grand ceilings and stern security, her confidence faltered, the solemn atmosphere of the courtroom and rumors of the judge's strict demeanor did little to ease her nerves. Before Judge Callista, Nia stood trembling, she had meticulously prepared her speech, detailing her hectic life as a single mother juggling multiple responsibilities, including ensuring her daughter Maya received her medication before work. She explained the unfortunate circumstances that led to the parking oversight. Her voice trembled slightly as she recounted her story to the judge, hoping her sincere and respectful explanation would resonate and lead to the dismissal of the fine. In an effort to sway him with her heartfelt sincerity, Nia addressed Judge Callista, who remained seemingly indifferent. 
known for his minimalistic speech and austere presence. Judge Callista listened to Nia's explanation with a stoic face. His thoughts inscrutable. Beyond his strictness, Judge Callista was notorious for his stringent adherence to the law, prioritizing facts over circumstances and often issuing the harshest penalties once an infraction was established. Without regard to the underlying motives, as the judge scrutinized the case documents, Nia's heart grew heavy. Despite her meticulously prepared appeal, his indifference was palpable. His questions were sharp, directed solely at the specifics of the parking violation and disregarding any justification she provided. His stern demeanor left Nia fearing not only the confirmation of the fine but also a possible increase as a penalty for what he might deem a frivolous challenge to the court's time. However, the unexpected occurred just as Nia braced for defeat. Her daughter, Maya, who had been quiet, suddenly disrupted the silence by asking for hamburgers. Caught off guard, as she hadn't briefed Maya on courtroom decorum, Nia worried this outburst might reflect poorly on her, painting a picture of disarray and possibly even suggesting she was a negligent mother. At that moment, seated beside Judge Callista in the austere setting of the curious court, the atmosphere softened, everyone, including Nia, felt a wave of empathy for the young girl who simply expressed a desire for food amidst the daunting courtroom environment. Judge Callista leaned in, his voice unexpectedly gentle, as he spoke directly to Maya. Acknowledging the challenging morning, he shifted his approach, asking Maya a few questions about her day and her mother. Encouraged by the judge's softened demeanor, Maya eagerly shared that her mother worked tirelessly at a local bakery, crafting delectable cakes and cookies, and sometimes took extra shifts as a waitress at a nearby restaurant. Often working late into the night, the judge, now displaying a sincere interest, continued his gentle inquiry, gaining insights into Nia's life as a single mother striving to balance the demanding roles of parenting and her jobs. This unexpected turn of events shifted the dynamics in the courtroom, highlighting aspects of Nia's life that underscored her dedication and challenges. Far beyond the confines of the initial parking violation issue, from a very young age, Maya was acutely aware of the immense challenges her mother, Nia, endured to provide for their family. In a poignant courtroom scene, as Maya recounted her mother's struggles, the atmosphere was heavy with empathy. Initially perceived by many as merely a parking violator, Nia's true identity as a hard-working single mother fighting to support her family came to light through her daughter's heartfelt narrative. The turning point in Maya's testimony came when she revealed a series of heart-wrenching events that had dramatically altered their lives. Casting Nia into her current dire circumstances, as Maya spoke, Nia felt a mix of pride and sorrow. Revealing such personal details was not intended. But Maya's openness brought out the deeper truths of their situation. Nia's life as a single parent was a constant battle not just of balancing work and childcare, but also of coping with the betrayal that had thrust her into this struggle. Four years earlier, when Maya was just three years old, Nia was in a relationship with Darius, her then-boyfriend who had just been released from jail on a minor possession charge. Darius had promised Nia a changed man, committed to their small but growing family. Full of love and hope, Nia trusted him completely. She was saving diligently for her college education, dreaming of a brighter future for them all where she could advance her career and together with Darius. Provide a nurturing environment for Maya. Darius appeared supportive, even offering to contribute financially, which further convinced Nia of his commitment. However, the trust she had placed in him was shattered one devastating morning when she discovered that Darius had disappeared. Taking with him her life savings in, unbeknownst to her, eloping with her younger sister whom he had been secretly seeing. This betrayal was not just financial but deeply personal as well. Darius's deceit had not only manipulated Nia's sister into turning against her own family, but it had also robbed Nia of her financial security and emotional support. The aftermath left Nia devastated. Despite reporting the theft, the stolen savings were never recovered. Nia found herself not only financially ruined but emotionally abandoned, tasked with the sole responsibility of raising Maya in the face of overwhelming odds. This tragic backstory, 
as shared by Maya in the courtroom, reshaped the perception of those present, offering them a glimpse into the relentless and often unseen struggles of a single mother striving against adversity for the sake of her child. The betrayal by her sister and her subsequent departure had left Nia profoundly hurt, compelling her to reshape her life around the new reality of being a single parent. The disappearance of their savings thrust Nia into a challenging financial situation, derailing her dreams of college education and pushing her into multiple low-wage jobs to barely make ends meet. It was during these trying times that a $200 parking ticket seemed to Nia an insurmountable burden. In the courtroom, as Maya narrated the series of events, all eyes, including those of Judge Callista, were intently focused on her. Judge Callista, typically known for his stern approach, displayed a noticeable change in demeanor, his questions becoming more considerate as he delved deeper into the hardships Nia and her family were enduring. As Maya provided more context, the judge's expression softened, showing signs of empathy and understanding. In a surprising twist, Judge Callista turned directly to Maya, inquiring what she believed would be a fair consequence for her mother's parking infraction. The courtroom fell silent, captivated by this unusual solicitation of opinion from a child in such a formal setting. Nia was taken aback, uncertain if the judge was genuinely considering a child's perspective. Yet, Maya, undeterred and with a steady gaze, told the judge that he, with his wisdom, should decide this time. Her straightforward and innocent remark lightened the mood, eliciting laughter from the audience and even a chuckle from Judge Callista himself. A rare occurrence in his courtroom, the atmosphere had shifted, everyone now awaited Judge Callista's decision with bated breath. He leaned back, pausing thoughtfully before signaling for a brief recess. As the crowd stood, he quietly spoke to the bailiff, who promptly exited the room, leaving a whisper of curiosity among the spectators. When the bailiff returned, he was carrying a brown paper bag, which the judge accepted with a smile and then handed to Maya. Remarking warmly, here you go, young lady, he explained that the court proceedings could wait, as it was more important to address her audible hunger first. Inside the bag were neatly packed sandwiches and juice boxes, bringing a delighted smile to Maya's face and a sense of relief to Nia. As they experienced a moment of unexpected kindness in the midst of their struggles, Nia was overcome with emotion in the stark setting of the courtroom a place typically marked by formality and not known for overt gestures of compassion. It was in this unlikely environment that an unexpected act of kindness took place, leaving a deep imprint on her. Following an unplanned snack break that momentarily lightened the mood, the court session resumed under the gavel of Judge Callista. Unlike his usual brisk approach, the judge took a measured pace reviewing Nia's case file. He carefully noted her spotless driving record and impeccable legal history, highlighting that this was her first parking violation in nearly a decade. As he scrutinized the details, the atmosphere in the courtroom seemed to subtly shift. When Judge Callista looked up from the files to deliver his verdict, the room held its breath. In a surprising turn of events, considering Nia's previous clean record, he dismissed the parking ticket. This decision was met with applause from those in the courtroom, signaling a rare moment of leniency. However, Judge Callista's unprecedented actions didn't end there. He proceeded to present Nia with a list of resources tailored for single mothers. This document included information on job training programs and childcare assistance services, with remarkable opportunities such as two online degree programs available at no cost. As Nia absorbed this information, Tears of gratitude filled her eyes. This gesture extended far beyond the dismissal of a ticket. It was a lifeline offered at a crucial time in her life. Struggling to find the words to express her profound appreciation, Nia was visibly moved. Judge Callista, with a reassuring smile, let her know that no thanks were necessary to him. This was simply an embodiment of justice served with humanity. The news of Judge Callista's compassionate decision quickly spread across the community. Social media platforms and local news outlets were abuzz, not only about the dismissal of the ticket but about the judge's considerate attention to Nia's broader challenges. 
the community was touched by his authentic concern and the practical support he had extended. Empowered by Judge Callista's kindness and the resources he provided, Nia embarked on a transformative journey. She enrolled in one of the online degree programs and utilized the childcare assistance. Ensuring her daughter Maya was well taken care of, this support provided her with much needed breathing space and infused her with hope for a more secure future. The encounter with Nia and Maya had a profound effect on Judge Callista as well. It rekindled a deep sense of empathy within him, influencing his perspective on the role of justice, highlighting the human element within the framework of the law. The story illustrates how sacred the law is. Designed more for protection than for punishment, he began to perceive the law not just as a rigid set of rules, but as a tool to safeguard those who are most in need. What a heartfelt and uplifting narrative. It shows us that acts of kindness and understanding can manifest anywhere. Even within the hallowed walls of a courtroom. How have your personal experiences with courts and judges been? Please share your stories in the comments below. And I look forward to discussing them with you in the next video.